everybody. We are back with another review, and today we got this skunk glass on glass converter. So, without further ado, let's hop right into this review. So, we got this nice little neat converter, which is actually sealed very nicely inside of a skunk sack, which is cool. We don't know what the skunk sack is. And the converter itself, I got the 14 millimeter one. So here you go, there's the Skunk brand converter. It turns your pipe into a cigarette cone holder, 14 millimeter. And there you go, there's HBI, that's the company that does raw elements and everybody else through um, the American distribution chain. They're the ones that handle everything and get all this stuff sorted out throughout the United States from all these international companies. So we'll put that sack aside, and here is the piece itself. It just says skunk on it in some wild blacky font. It actually looks like it's smeared, the, the little text there, the S. And it's actually cut off on the left of the S. That's interesting. Um, I kind of wish it wasn't branded, to be honest with you. Uh, skunk really doesn't, I don't know. They're known for rolling papers. I don't really know if they're known for glass. So I do think that it's interesting that um, they decided to brand this one little piece on the top of the tip. But uh, we'll check it out anyway. It's got a little bit of a reverberator in here. It's got a little like chillum aspect to it. A little chamber right there, that little ripple. So we got our little stunt pipe over here we'll bring into play. And then we got the 14 millimeter glass on glass joint. Fits real nice, seals good, it even looks nice. Nice and low profile. It kind of fits with the, the ribs from the down stems. And then we have a little one and a quarter elements cone here. Hey, look at that, it sits in there. Pretty decent. It's got a, you can see right in there, it's a, I don't know, it's not polished. It's like that that rough glass on glass type finish on the inside, which has a nice grippage for the the cone itself. You could put also a cigarette in there. Now, if you all you need to do is just apply just a little bit of pressure here, and it actually firms firms it in there to the point where it's not, it's not actually gonna like flop out of there. And then you know once it's firmed up in there that you got a good seal for the joint so that you're actually able to take your cigarette and actually smoke it because you need it to be sealed so you have the suction for the piece itself. Now, this particular piece, I liked it. I thought it worked out really great. I like the fact that you could take a cone and you could filter it through water. I mean, that's probably the best part of it is you can have a large amount of material that you can smoke on and filter it all through some water. And that's what I think is the most appealing part of this particular little accessory is the fact that you can do that. You can take this one little piece, and it's pretty universal too. You don't have to put this on a large pipe. You could put this on a smaller pipe, a little mini rig, a little hand, hand car bubbler or something. Anything that you can, um, you can basically have a glass on glass joint that's 14 mil. You can basically hook up this little adapter to. And I think this is totally awesome. It's a game changer in regards to the way that you smoke your pre-rolled cones. It allows you to add that extra step of water filtration. Now we did do the little raw, it was like, um, what was it, a little cone bubbler, I think it was what it was called. Um, that thing's neat. You got to have that with you at all times. What's nice is you can have this little, uh, skunk adapter, this little 14 millimeter piece. You can take it, you can stick it in this skunk sack. It's not going to smell and you can bring it with you. And instead of having to bring this little water bubbler that you have, that you have to keep water in it and you have to make sure it doesn't break, you can have this, this little adapter you can toss into your little smoker's bag. And again, yeah, it says skunk. That's a little bit you know, unattractive in regards to the branding. It would have been nice if it was just a nice, just industrial, clean, glass-on-glass -glass piece. But it serves its purpose. The branding really doesn't matter. The cones themselves do fit really nice and snug, and it does work with regular cigarettes. So anything that's not conical in regards to the filter, it will go in there. It just won't go down as far. The cone ones, the cone filter tips will go down a little bit farther. Either way, as long as you kind of jam it in there, it's going to have a nice seal on it, regardless if you roll it by hand or if it's a pre-rolled cone. So I did like that about this. So if you tried the Skunk Adapter, let us know in the comments below. And if you want more content like this, subscribe for more. I do smoke interviews every single day, so be on the lookout for that. And have a great rest of your day.